First tonight, the damage left behind after strong storms ripped through West Michigan. Tens of thousands still in the dark tonight. A family hospitalized with carbon monoxide poisoning and a father killed when a tree limb fell on his car. Storm Team 8 was on the air all night as these storms rumbled across the area. The hardest hit locations include Kent City, where trees are down and the Red Cross is providing help for people whose homes were damaged. Before hitting Kent City, the storms ripped through Fruitport, downing trees, damaging homes and making roads impassable. And we've been bringing you team coverage since before the storms hit yesterday, and that continues tonight. 24 Hour News 8's Jessica Leffler begins tonight from Fruitport. Down power lines, huge piles of debris. Take a look at the core of this house. It was smashed by a falling tree limb. All of this leftover damage in Fruitport from the wild weather yesterday. Now the cleanup begins. We took a drive along the main roads in Fruitport. You can see road crews scrambling to restore power. Down trees and limbs littered across people's lawns and yards. The sights and sounds of wreckage are everywhere. And it looked like a bomb blew, blew up in uh, Fruitport, so yeah, I didn't know what to expect. It's pretty bad. Joel Pendle helping his parents clean up. Oh, my heart was breaking. Oh, it was just shock, I guess, you know, for everybody. And yeah, it was just terrible. This is the home he grew up in, and in those years, the Pendle family has never seen a storm like this. Crazy to see this house get hit. I mean, there's been so many storms. We've been blessed. And We've only had one tree ever. Actually, a branch went through the window one time. I think that was in the 98 storm, and that was it. Um, but yeah, this is it's crazy to see this. Kitty corner from this house, a different Fruitport resident is picking up the pieces. A generator is going full gear to keep power on at the Daily House. Ken and his wife came home from church to discover a giant mess. I couldn't even get in the front door. Had uh, one car. There's a tree, tree branches covering it, and uh, went across the front porch. Their yard is picked up for the most part, but the storm left its mark. The power lines and tree limbs are in a tangle across their fence. Their grill is crushed by a falling branch, and the winds were so strong that some of their aluminum siding was ripped sideways. So you're going to have to take that part of the tree off the wires. People who live here tell us that they never remember the village of Fruitport ever closing before due to weather. In Fruitport, I'm Jessica Leffler, 24-Hour News 8.